I we're hearing more reaction to a scary situation on national television. Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin collapsed during a game last night. His uncle, Dorian Glenn, speaking out tonight on his nephew's condition. Well, his heart had went out, so um, they had to resuscitate him twice. They resuscitated him on the field before they brought him to the hospital, and then they resuscitated him a second time when he got to the hospital. So um, I just want to show my gratitude for the medical uh, staff that were on hand because if not for them, my nephew probably wouldn't even be here. Officials say the Buffalo Bills safety suffered cardiac arrest after he tackled an opponent during the game. NFL fans from across the country pouring in with support to the Hamlin, to Hamlin and his family and his team. News 3's Zach Dahlheimer talked with families, a local doctor and a local former NFL player, Aaron Rouse, about the news surrounding Hamlin. Zach joins us now in the studio. And so, Zach, after seeing what happened to Hamlin last night, what are families feeling? Are they cautious about letting their kids taking part in contact or collision sports? Well, Kurt, as you can imagine, a lot of people were watching this game in real time last night, and this was definitely scary to watch. And many we talked with here at Hampton Roads say they have concerns about sports like football after what happened last night. And one local doctor is weighing in on what you should know about what you saw. Anytime that a player that starts the game off doesn't is not unable or it's unable to walk off at the end of that game. Um, it, it, it does something to you. Before serving on Virginia Beach City Council, former council member Aaron Rouse spent years playing in the NFL. Football is a year round um, sport, so there is no off season, And that's because you're constantly either getting in shape or, or trying to heal from an injury or get stronger. Um, get faster. He's processing the news surrounding DeMar Hamlin, who suffered cardiac arrest on the field during a game Monday night. Watching that last night, I sat up and it just, it, it, you know, your heart immediately goes out to DeMar, to the player, um, and you just want him to get up. You want him to get up and be okay. Through his years playing in Hampton Roads at Virginia Tech and the pros, he's seen a number of injuries, but nothing like what happened to Hamlin. At the end of the game, wins or losses, you want to be able to go home to your families who are waiting on you, um, who are waiting on you to, to walk through those doors. And so um, it's very hard to watch. He's a lucky gentleman that he, he had medical support around him. Chesapeake Family Medicine physician Dr. Ryan Light responded to a similar event last September, helping revive a referee at his son's soccer game. He just fell down and had a it's hard to stop. Light says what happened to Hamlin is rare, but not completely unusual in sports. We see it happen on the basketball court. We see it happen in football occasionally, but it's an ultra rare event. CPR is one of the first things we do. Uh, we try to get the defibrillator out there to try to start the heart again. Sherelle Middleton's godson plays football in Hampton Roads. All I could truthfully do is still support him. You know, I, um, I always tell him to be safe when I do see him. <laughs> She hopes more protection comes for contact and collision sports after what happened to Hamlin. Maybe it'll give um, the sports a little bit more eye opener on how to protect their players if that's what they're going to do as a profession. Now, here's some information that we found online from Sentara. Doctors at Sentara Sports Medicine say that those with a family history of heart disease, certain cardiac conditions, or high blood pressure could be at risk for cardiac arrest. They say some of the warning signs could be unexplained fainting or near fainting, chest pain or tightness, feeling lightheaded, shortness of breath, or a racing heart. Now, doctors also say if your child has any risk factors or shows warning signs, you should remove them from physical activity or exertion and try and see your doctor. Now, you can read more on that and more tips from those doctors at Sentara right now on WTKR.com. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.